Hey everyone, this is Andrew, the 3D printing engineer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some stuff I made with wood fill PLA by Hatchbox. Uh, so this first model that I have here um, is a Baby Groot. Um, I've printed some of these in just normal PLA, um, but this is Hatchbox wood fill PLA. Um, and right out of the print, it, it actually kind of smells a little bit like wood. Um, the material is generally a little more stringy than regular PLA. Um, but for something like this, um, it doesn't really matter because it, it almost gives it a more natural texture than um, than regular PLA. Like if <laughs> I've never actually looked at it this close before, um, but it looks looks fabulous. Um, I think I printed this at 0.14 layer resolution, um, 0.14 millimeter layer resolution. I think I've been doing 200 C for um, the extruder temperature and then. Um, 60 degree bed, temp bed temperature on my Flash Forge Creator Pro. And I'm kind of blown away by the level of detail on these trunks here. Uh, the layer line's pretty small, but they kind of almost improve the quality of the print rather than detract from it. Um, let's go into these arms here, go into the back. And, uh, the head is pretty nice. It almost looks like a, uh, it's carved out of wood or like um, machined out of out of wood, or like CNC carved out of wood. And the top of the head just looks like a topographical map, um, but it looks really good. And this is no sanding or, or anything. Um, so I put that on the background there. Um, this one that I did here is one of those owls that everybody loves to print. Um, so this one I did actually uh, sand and also stain. Um, I didn't stain it too dark, but it is, does have a slightly different kind of color to it. And the, the back of it, it's very good. Um, I probably could have sanded it better, um, but it's hard to get in some of these contours. Um, you can see the, uh, the bottom are printed. But overall, this stuff is fantastic. Um, I've had, like, some people didn't know I had a 3D printer, and when they saw this, they asked me, like, did you carve these? <laughs> um, so it comes out really good. Um, I have another one here that um, is worse in some ways, but better in others. So this was printed with a dual extruder I'm on my Flash Forge, um, and I did, this is um, a mix of Hatchbox wood PLA and Protopasta um, rustable iron PLA. Um, I didn't rust it. Um, the problem that I had here was that when you dual extrude, you get a lot of oozing from whatever extruder is not being used. So you create a wall around the part. So as it as it prints vertically, it kind of prints a, a wall going around the entire bit of the part that helps with the oozing. But still, some of it gets in, in the print. And so I did have to sand it, and um, it did kind of not make it as perfect as it, as it could be, but it still looks really good. Um, and uh, like the... The um, non-perfectness, the imperfections of it almost kind of make it look more like it was um, not 3D printed. Um, you can see some layers, but overall not that many. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you gave this to a random person and asked what it was. They probably wouldn't say plastic. Um, it doesn't really feel like plastic either, um, especially in these parts that I sanded down much better. Like, look at that. <laughs> um, just to give you some idea of what the iron fill looks like, I have a part that's printed, another owl, printed in the iron. Um, I think this is the same same scale as the wood, um, and they, uh, they, they're both great, but the, the iron stuff you can actually rust. Um, and I did that on another part. Oop get this in here. This is after rusting it um, overnight. Um, I didn't rust it with just salt water. I used this mixture that's 50-50 um, hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. Um, I used red wine vinegar. Usually they say to use white vinegar, but I didn't have any. Um, and then I mixed that, so it's 50-50 uh, of hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. And then you also put in some salt water. So I basically poured in a little bit of warm water after. So maybe it's like one third um, hydrogen peroxide, one-third vinegar, one-third water, and then you just keep adding salt until the solution's saturated. I got a paper towel, soaked it, 
Um, I didn't drop this in the, the liquid. What I did is I, I wet the entire surface on the outside in a paper towel. Then I soaked the whole paper towel and wrapped it around this overnight, and then wrapped that entire thing in tin foil so that it would you know, not dry out. And when I woke up, it was it was like this. Um, <laughs> and it's just by the looks of it. Like up close, you can see layer lines, and it's more obvious it's 3D printed. But from far away, um, you might you might never guess that it's 3D printed. So yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Um, this this kind of cool prints using using Hatchbox wood PLA and then Proto Pasta uh, iron fill PLA. Um, all this is printed on the Flashforge Creator Pro, um, and I did put in some Micro Swiss MK10 um, hardened nozzle tips because uh, this stuff is abrasive on your nozzle. So if you're gonna you know, buy that stuff after seeing this video or any other video, make sure that you get a hardened nozzle if you're gonna use this stuff. The wood fill. However, does not need a hard nozzle. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Like this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.